if anyone else is coming, then uh, uh, we uh, welcome them. If not, we start uh, the webinar in this nice little uh, group we have now. This webinar uh, about animation creation as a learning tool. Thank you for uh, joining us this afternoon. Uh, before we get started, let me uh, let me introduce my colleagues who are who kindly offered to help me this afternoon in this webinar. Uh, Lediko Mazar. Uh, she is the Deputy Secretary General of Eden. Uh, and Kata Kovac, uh, she is um, uh, a researcher uh, in ICT in education and um, uh, used to be the project manager of uh, the Anim Class project, which was uh, dealing with animation creation as a learning tool. Uh, may I kindly ask all the participants to mute your microphones for uh, for the time we are not speaking, uh, so that we don't have any echo uh, in the background. Uh, you can mute your microphone by clicking on the microphone icon in the top row uh, of the uh, of your screen. Okay, it will happen soon. <laughs> Until then, uh, may I ask Ieriko to say a couple of words about Eden and uh, uh, and yourself? Thank you very much, Krista. It's a pleasure, and uh, thank you for uh, inviting me as well to uh, introduce the organization. For those of you who don't know Eden, uh, the acronym stands for the European Distance and E-Learning Network. We are the, the widest European association um, of uh, its kind that deals with distance education uh, and e-learning, uh, registered in the UK since uh, 19, in 1991. And uh, our, our aim is to provide a platform for collaboration um, uh, between uh, professionals um, and uh, to offer uh, information exchange uh, to our members and partners. Eden is open to all sectors and levels of education and training, including uh, K-12, uh, higher education, vocational education and training, and even informal and non-formal learning is uh, supported and encouraged uh, by uh, our association. Uh, we are organizing um, face-to-face uh, events as well, um, usually professional conferences twice or three times a year. And uh, recently, we have started um, the delivery of webinars such as this, uh, the animation creating um, uh, webinar. And we also participate in uh, EU-funded projects uh, in uh, research and practice as well, uh, so that we can um, uh, support our partners and members in these many ways. Um, and now, um, after this brief introduction, I would like to give back the, the floor to our host, uh, uh, Krista Mihai. And uh, uh, let's get on with the, the fun stuff. Thank you very much, Ildiko. Uh, Ildiko is here to help me with uh, handling the chat and, uh, and uh, your questions and to uh, uh, help moderating the discussion. So thank you very much, Ildiko, for offering this. Uh, and uh, uh, be careful what you write in the chat, because Ildiko is watching. Uh, now, before we just get started, I would like to ask Kata to say a couple of words about uh, yourself, uh, how you uh, got involved with this animation stuff, and uh, why are you here? Uh, can you please uh, uh, higher the volume of your microphone? Uh, it's much better now. So, uh, 
uh, I am uh, I am a researcher and I uh, work uh, uh, as a, as a uh, e-learning uh, developer as well. Uh, my subject is adaptive learning and learning style. Uh, and uh, why I am here because I, I was coordinating. The Leonardo project called Animated Classwork, uh, which uh, uh, was a uh, project uh, of the uh, Corvinus University. So uh, later I will talk about uh, this project. Yeah, thank you very much, Kata. Uh, okay, uh, can you please mute um, your microphone? Thank you. So uh, it's time for me to introduce myself in a couple of words, which I missed at the beginning. So my name is Krista Mihai, I'm working for Eden. And uh, in this uh, webinar, I'm uh, presenting uh, uh, my research and my, uh, the, uh, my best uh, field of interest, uh, which is animation creation uh, in learning. Uh, and. Uh, uh, the aim of the webinar is to, to give you some insight in how animation creation can be used uh, as a learning tool, not as a demonstrating tool. It's very, the difference is very important. Uh, we're not using animation creation for demonstrating, but for learning a certain part of the curriculum. Uh, and uh, I, I would like to get you interested in this uh, uh, in this tool that can be used in K-12 uh, mostly, but also uh, in higher education uh, in teacher training. Uh, before we get started, I would like you to answer some questions that will ap appear uh, in the uh, uh, right-down corner uh, in, uh, in the, on the screen. Uh, so I would like to invite you to just uh, make some words. Uh, and uh, I'm creating the question. And, uh, I hope you can see the opportunities to answer now, so please click. Uh, one of the uh, one of the answers. Uh, I don't know. Can you can you uh, see the results? Can you all see the results on the screen? Please, uh, uh, may I ask the participants to raise your hands if you can see the results on the screen, because uh, I cannot uh, uh, I cannot see if, uh, can I decide if you can see the results or not. Okay, thank you, Gabor. Yeah. Any of the, okay, thank you, Ferenc, I can see you, you see the result. Okay, so uh, I think we can conclude that all of us have, see, have seen an animated movie. So let me have one other question. So the question is, do you know how an animated film, how animated films are created? Oh, 
Okay. Time to just see the results once more. Okay, can you all see the results? Now on the screen, please, uh, please raise your hands if you can. Okay, so you can see that uh, about uh, one third of the participants uh, know how to how animated films are created, and uh, two thirds are not sure or more or less know how animated films are created. Okay, so we've been talking about animated films, so let me just show you an, uh, a short animated movie uh, which was uh, created. Uh, in the Anim Plus project. So that we see something that we've been talking about. If I may, for those, uh, those of you who are participants, you will see a little enlarger screen. Uh, You can uh, you can go and I, uh, I stop the video. If you see there, the small huh? screen, there is an enlarge your screen button with four arrows uh, pointing outward. If you click on that, you will be able to see the video in a in a bigger screen. It's in Hungarian, but uh, it's subtitled, so you can read the, read the text if you don't understand Hungarian. Can you hear me now? Okay. So as you could see, uh, Lily got an offer uh, from the teacher to leave the school, leave the classroom. Uh, it happens to uh, many students uh, uh, all over the world, and it's one of the headline targets of the European Union, uh, for example, but I think it, uh, it's a target all over the world, even in the U.S to reduce the number of early school leavers and increase the ratio of those to uh, who complete secondary education. Uh, what is very important for keeping, school, uh, keeping children in the school is uh, uh, to motivate them. And uh, uh, if you allow me now, I will uh, share my screen with you and uh, start uh, a presentation, uh, a sh very short presentation about uh, uh, this topic, how animation creation and uh, motivating of children connect to each other. Uh, I will ask Erico's help to, to open the screen sharing option. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you can all see my screen now. So what I mentioned uh, earlier is that early school living, uh, the problem of early school living is a, uh, a, is a big question everywhere and it's an aim to reduce the number. Uh, the headline target of the European Union is to reduce it under uh, the rate of 10% by uh, 2020. And uh, most of the 
for uh, most of the countries are trying to uh, help uh, this issue by uh, finding uh, educational tools to motivate, to increase the motivation of the, of the learners. But, uh, what's important for motivating the learners uh, is to show them how uh, what they do in the school relates to uh, the world of work and what's uh, expected uh, by employers. And it has been uh, proved by research uh, conducted on behalf of the European Union, but it's also highlighted uh, in the McKinsey report and Fedefop report uh, that uh, uh, employers are looking for the 21st century skills uh, of the uh, of the young people, which is creativity, collaboration, critical thinking, and communication, and uh, and of course the uh, digital skills. There are many more uh, skills that can be uh, um, grouped into 21st century skills or soft skills that are called that are uh, also uh, called them, uh, but uh, these are the the four more important ones that we can touch by uh, anima uh, using animation creation as a le uh, learning tool. Which is important that um, it uh, promotes uh, self-regulated learning, which is uh, also important in the labor market, and uh, it provides an opportunity for, opportunity for universal design for learning uh, by which we can uh, include uh, the different types of students uh, into the education process for the learning process. And uh, obviously, promote the digital skills since we are using uh, digital uh, tools for creating uh, animated movies. So animation creation uh, is a tool to help this motivation process and to promote uh, uh, the students staying in the class uh, by uh, helping or developing the digital skills, allowing for personalized learning and promoting the 21st century skills, as I said. But how uh, where I know this from is from research. And uh, this research uh, about using animation in the classroom started uh, very long back ago, about 10 years ago, Alborg University uh, initiated a project about teaching with animation, which was followed by another project called uh, Animated Science, and then a project called Animated Learning. And in the meantime, the Corvinus University of Budapest, uh, uh, the Teacher Training Center of Corvinus University of Budapest started a project about how to use animation creation in the vocational secondary schools. And I stop sharing my screen, and uh, I will invite Kata, uh, Katalin Kovács from, uh, from the Corvinus University of Budapest to talk about uh, their experiences. So, uh, this project uh, was an innovation transfer project, as uh, Krista mentioned. So, uh, so uh, seven institutions participated uh, uh, in the project, and uh, uh, the project uh, was uh, um, uh, to, to get uh, the teachers uh, uh, this method, to inform them uh, how to teach with this method, and to try it in their schools. Uh, two vocational schools uh, participated in the project, the Danish partners uh, bring the idea uh, into Hungary, and the Hungarian schools uh, 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 tried and implemented into Hungary. Uh, one of the, uh, the vocational schools uh, 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 was very uh, exhausted to participate in the project because, uh, uh, because uh, 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 the pupils uh, uh, yeah, they were really like uh, to participate in the project, and uh, lots of very good uh, examples uh, and uh, and animation uh, films uh, uh, were created. So um, we uh, in in 
the Hungarian partners in Hungary, uh, we prepared a teacher training uh, module. Uh, we accredited it, so it means that now uh, the university can uh, uh, offer this teacher training uh, to other uh, teachers. So, uh, if uh, Krista uh, left, uh, please show uh, some animation uh, that uh, the pupils uh, did. Okay, thank you very much, Kata. Uh, which one shall we select first? Uh, shall we watch the the ones created by the um, by the wood woodworkers, for example, or would that be okay? Yes. Thank you. Okay, then I will open that. Okay, that this, uh, thank you, Kata, for for uh, telling about your experience. Now I'm trying to uh, open the uh, the video sharing, but uh, probably it needs some time to. Uh, to show the playlist, which we seen before, uh, and it's not appearing right uh, at the moment. Yeah, I just ask my colleagues who are expert in the technique to check if there, if you can explore where the video disappeared. Okay, until we are, until uh, the videos are uh, loading in, uh, I will try once more because it would really worth to to watch them together. They are very very valuable uh, pieces. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this uploaded playlist doesn't show. Uh, so what we can do is that uh, I uh, I copy in the YouTube link uh, for you uh, and uh, share it with you in the in the chat box, and then uh, you can watch it in your screen. Unfortunately, if I if I do it by screen sharing, you will not be able to hear the, the sound of the videos, which uh, would be uh, a big loss uh, in enjoying the video. So I just stopped this video box, unfortunately. It's, uh, the uploaded video disappeared. So I'm opening it from the Anim class website, uh, which uh, is in Hungarian, but I think it's uh, worth sharing that uh, URL with you as well, because uh, many videos are uploaded, which can be watched from there. But now I'm going to select uh, uh, the one Kata was referring to. So I'm sharing the, uh, the video created by the, the food workers. Um, I hope that uh, the one with the uh, subtitle uh, is up on the website. Okay. Oh, maybe the technician colleague has helped us. Thank you very much. So now we can watch together the uh, the video in Adobe Connect.
Okay. So this was created by a uh, uh, secondary school uh, vocational student uh, who had to learn about uh, uh, work safety. And this was the way how they, uh, they dealt with the topic. And uh, uh, probably you could see uh, from the video that uh, they took it uh, in a very humorous and uh, very creative way. So it was, um, it was much interesting for them than just reading the textbook. Uh, I want to see uh, one more from this series, uh, which uh, was created by uh, uh, those students who, are le who were learning uh, how, to, uh, how to make um, uh, some uh, pastry. Uh, and the, the next animation is about pastry making. It was created by a uh, vocational student uh, in the It's a special type of uh, uh, nod that they are uh, making in this little video. And as you could see, uh, they put some smile at the end to uh, make it more, uh, more exciting. Uh, May I ask uh, uh, our participants, now that you could uh, see some, some uh, animated movies and we've been talking about animation, uh, what do you think uh, we need uh, to uh, introduce this method into K-12 or any kind of uh, education, in higher education as, as well? What do you think we need uh, for that? Anyone who would uh, share your opinion with us, please feel free to raise your hand and, and then uh, talk about, uh, share, share with us your thoughts about what, we, what do we need to introduce this into the classroom, this method, animation creation. Anyone volunteering to, to share your ideas with us? Does anyone have, a, have experience with animation creation? Have you ever created an animated movie? Those of you who have ever created an animated movie, please raise your hand. OK. Anyone from the participants? OK, Ferenc, thank you. What about Marcy, Maria, Matthias? Have you ever created an animated movie? Okay. Okay, I can see the chat. Uh, I understand that it's uh, parents who have ever created an animated movie. Uh, would you be willing to share with us your your thoughts about it, or or uh, what you think is needed uh, for introducing this method? Uh, in the classroom, just in few words. Okay, you can type in the chat as well. Oh, okay, I can see Matthias saying that uh, I took part at the seminar in Budapest and I uh, was surprised how easy it was. Okay, Matthias, so maybe you could share with us your experience. And uh, uh, yes, yeah, science is saying that it's the best means of motivating learners. Well, I don't know if it's the best, but I know it's a very good way of motivating learners. Uh, we could see that in uh, Kata's project in the vocational schools and also uh, with the Danish colleagues in Denmark. Uh, so Matthias? Uh, can you uh, can you say uh, what you think it's needed to to take it in the class, 
or if you prefer to write, you can write it in the chat, of course. If you don't want to speak, I, don't, I will not force you to speak. It's just an option, it's an opportunity that we can hear your voice. Ah, okay, I understand you have, you have no microphone, no problem. So then maybe you can share with us in, your, in the writing. Yes, we need a webcam. That's, that's quite important. Uh, or if you don't have a webcam, we can also use the location, which has a webcam <laughs> built in. So this is one of the smartphones, and uh, a lot of uh, lot of the children even uh, at a very young age have uh, smartphones, and uh, uh, a lot of and a lot of toys. Yes, a lot of toys means a lot of kind of objects that we can use. But uh, as you could see, uh, we can create animations from basically anything. So we can use clay, we can use little uh, items, but uh, basically anything that we, we find. And Indigo is saying that we need a storyboard. Uh, that's quite important, yes, a storyboard. Uh, and uh, uh, this, uh, this leads to competency development, because when students or, or children are designing a storyboard, uh, in a group, and they have, they must talk with each other, and they must think through uh, what will be the beginning, what will be the end, and what will happen in between, which is putting together a sequence and uh, creating a logic, and uh, they have to use their creativity how to represent uh, the wish of their uh, uh, creation. Uh, and how to represent it in a visual way. So, uh, yes, that storyboard is a very important part. Okay, uh, I'm sharing my screen again. So, uh, can we please switch to that uh, option with the screen sharing? Thank you very much. So, uh, uh, you said that we need uh, a webcam, you said uh, we need uh, some uh, technical background, that's very important. But uh, the other thing that, we, that I think we need uh, for uh, introducing animation creation in the classroom is the determination. Because uh, 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 teachers are always uh, hesitant to introduce something that is new, something that they are afraid of, and something where they think that uh, it will be difficult for them to control the process. And it's very important that we trust our students and trust the learners, uh, because um, in our experience, uh, and I think that anyone who has ever seen a child in this uh, century uh, can um, can be sure that uh, that kids uh, are much better in handling this technique, and we must trust them to use the technique and leave them to leave them to organize their own learning. And the learning process should be organized in a way that the teacher becomes the facilitator in the process and doesn't want to control uh, each uh, moment of the lesson, but uh, let the students and the children to explore uh, what they can do and uh, what, uh, uh, how they can make mistakes and how they can learn from their mistakes. So it's very, very important to change the the teaching, the controlling role, role into a facilitator's role. And of course, the simple technical background is something that supports this process. And what is the result of, uh, uh, of this uh, of using animation in the classroom? Well, as we heard from Kata, 
uh, many happy students and happy teachers as well because uh, all of the teachers we've been doing the animation were very happy and very excited and uh, they were very, very keen on uh, introducing this method into their own classes. And of course, it's a big opportunity to uh, read, uh, to uh, introduce freedom into the classes and the freedom of thinking, creativity, uh, and uh, to bring uh, school and life closer to each other, as I referred to at the beginning, that 21st century skills uh, development is needed for the labor market. Uh, and uh, in this way, learning is just a side, side effect. Of course, it's a challenge because it's an untraditional way of learning. And uh, it uh, implies for a new teacher-student relationship. All right. Uh, so that's basically it. What I wanted to uh, what I wanted to uh, tell you about this method. And if you can go back to the discussion setup, we can see each other again. Uh, I would like to show you some, some more videos which were created um, in a teacher training, actually by teachers, uh, not by students, so that uh, you can see that uh, it's not only uh, uh, young children and not just the students who, who get uh, excited about creating uh, movies but uh, also, also teachers in teacher training get excited about it. And I'm having the same problem that uh, the player is not appearing. So if you just give So for this technical problem, uh, somehow the video disappears from the playlist, but uh, I asked my colleague to, to find them again the way uh, she found them previously. Yes, it's there. Okay. So the one I'm showing now uh, was uh, prepared by uh, uh, teachers and uh, they are primary school. They were primary school teachers, uh, and uh, they just created a little animation uh, for teaching math. Another one is coming about uh, uh, math again, and uh, I, I'm, now I must admit that I'm a teacher of mathematics, so that I am very fond of uh, this topic, and was very happy to see that primary school teachers uh, use animation to, to teach math, but this video is of sharing. Okay, then uh, uh, let's, let's 
Ayan na doon. Okay. Just a second. Okay, the next one I'm going to share with you uh, was created by for history. Uh, for learning history. I like this one very much because you can see that how how creativity can be invited in using this method, and uh, that uh, uh, whatever you find on the table can be used for creating uh, an animated movie. And I think it's a very uh, big value of the method. Okay. Uh, I'm not showing you any other uh, animations uh, now. Just thank you for your attention. And before you leave, uh, I would like to ask one last question uh, in the toy box. If you can share uh, your answer with us, I would be very grateful. I'm very uh, curious what you are thinking about animation creation now after this webinar. I hope you got some some motivation. You can see the questions now. Please make a vote. Okay. Okay. Did everybody make a vote? Okay, I open it again because it keeps keep disappearing. Okay, so I would say most of you would like Israeli to make an animated movie and the others are a bit hesitant, but if you need more encouragement, then uh, uh, you're invited to visit uh, the AnimCraft website and also the website uh, of the Danish um, the Danish project that does with uh, animation creation, and I'm sharing the animated science uh, website with you. Uh, this is where you can reach uh, materials in English. This animated science website uh, has a lot of uh, uh, movies about uh, uh, how to use animation creation in, in science education. Uh, and uh, it is uh, available in, in English and Danish. Uh, but uh, if you just want to see some more uh, animated movies and get some more ideas, then you can uh, watch the AnimCraft website where you can find a lot of videos uh, without understanding the language you can watch those. And the question came that the AnimCraft website guide uh, the visitors to the animation creation process, and my answer is yes, it does, but it's in Hungarian. It guides the visitors to animation creation process in Hungarian. Uh, but the other website I refer to, the Animated Science, it guides to the visitor in English. So English speakers are invited to visit the Animated Science website. Okay. 
Uh, thank you very much for the word, uh, Krista. I, I was fascinated by, by the videos because you could see how how simple yet uh, informative were. And uh, me having a 13-year-old daughter, I, I can relate those moments when um, she uh, felt the, the achievement by creating something like that. And uh, to me, at least now, it feels like I really would like to give it a try. So I have a few uh, small questions, like um, how long do you think um, the creation of uh, any one of the animations uh, you showed us uh, today, these short ones, if you have all the props, the, the phone and the, the little toys, how long does it take to create uh, uh, an animation like that? And my second question is, uh, what tools or software or apps uh, do you use to, to make these animations? Okay, thank you very much for the questions. These are very important. Uh, and I think that uh, uh, Matthias, who uh, participated in the Eden conference in the summer and who was uh, uh, telling us, and I was very happy to read that he was fascinated how easy it is to do it. Uh, I think he can uh, uh, say also how fast it is to do it because uh, the um, event training um, in the annual conference was altogether two hours and within that two hours uh, the groups were creating several animated movies and we started the whole process from the very beginning. So that was the first time, yes, 20, 20 minutes for a two, three minutes uh, long animated movie, yeah. Well, uh, maybe it's, uh, it's a bit uh, uh, underestimating the time. Uh, you can use like 25 minutes, <laughs> but uh, but it's really not that time consuming as we uh, would think it is. And uh, to your second question, uh, for the uh, if you want to use the laptop and the webcam uh, scenario or that setup. Uh, we usually use a free software, uh, software called Monkey Jam. Uh, I share the link uh, in the chat box with you uh, in a moment. It's, uh, it, it can be freely, freely downloaded uh, from the internet, and it's a very, very easy to use uh, software that anyone can learn in like five minutes to use. So it's a free uh, software for PCs. Uh, and uh, for the mobile application, uh, on an Android platform, uh, I always use PicPack. Uh, I probably can show it on my phone, at least the icon, uh, which can be downloaded from, uh, from Google Play for the Android. And uh, for iOS, I must check the Unimplus website because I'm not an iPhone user. But uh, on the Unimplus website, we collected all these, uh, all these uh, applications that can be used in different uh, platforms. So, yes. Uh, on iOS, the Stop Motion Studio, that's the uh, free software that can be used and on Windows one it's easy 3D camera free uh, but without knowing the language you can take a look at this this uh, page and you can uh, see the uh, icons of the uh, of the applications that we can use on mobile did I answer all your questions Thank you. Okay, so thank you to all participants for uh, spending this time with us. I hope uh, you enjoyed it and I hope it was useful. And of course, if you have any que uh, further questions after the webinar, then uh, you are uh, welcome to, to write to me at, uh, uh, you can find my email address on, e on Eden's website, so it will not be very hard. Uh, or you can just contact the secretary at email box at Eden and 
and they are being happy to have you. So well, thank I you very much for thank being you. here. Thank you. Please stand also, Kata, for, for your time. I know we are all very busy in this uh, period. And all the participants who, who uh, just spared this one hour to, to stay with us. Uh, apologies about the, the technical issues, but I hope I can speak on behalf of everybody that it was still uh, thoroughly enjoyable of an experience. And again, Krista and Kata, thank you very much. Really quite well. <laughs> and goodbye and uh, have a nice day for those of you who are starting the day now in the U.S. And uh, have a nice evening for those of you who have joined us from Europe and coming to close to.